speaking of unfortunate, Alien Covenant was bad, right? I think we all can agree. Alien Covenant was not a good movie. And as a result of, uh, of, of Alien Covenant coming out, it killed Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5. In fact, Ridley Scott killed Neil Blomkamp's Alien 5. We learned that last year. Uh, basically, uh, in, the, in the hype train for Chappie, uh, it came out that Neil Blomkamp had an idea for Alien 5. Sigourney Weaver and Michael Bean were kind of on board for it, especially Sigourney Weaver. He had deals and uh, he had talks with Fox about it. Everyone was excited. In fact, it took over all the marketing, all the chatter surrounding Chappie, which is probably for the best because it was a mediocre movie. And as a result you know, like people wanted Alien 5. They wanted a continuation of Ripley's story to kind of like retcon Alien 4. Uh, or I think it was going to retcon Alien 3 uh, and move away from there. And I think people were going to be okay with that. But no, we got Alien Covenant. And then of course it was going to be Alien Awakening was going to be the movie that connected Alien Covenant and Prometheus to 1979's Ridley Scott movie. Uh, but we learned some details now of what that film is going to be if it ever gets made. Uh, it says here, with the disappointing box office of Alien Covenant, as well as the sale of 20th Century Fox to Disney, it seems the prospect of a third Alien prequel from director Ridley Scott is dim. Knowing uh, that Empire has unearthed the plot synopsis for the script of Alien Awakening by John Logan, who wrote Spectre and Alien Covenant, two kind of lackluster films in regards to scripts. Look, Spectre was a fun movie, but it it wasn't Skyfall. You know what I mean? Like the script was kind of weak. Um, and it was originally written with the intention of being uh, Scott's next picture after all the money in the world. Now, this is what the plot synopsis is. It says here, Logan's script would have seen the return of the Prometheus's engineers and with that species survivors coming after the genocidal David. Uh, settings wise, Scott said it was obvious we're actually going to go to the planet, which by we assume he means LV-426. And that, of course, makes sense given where where the ship was going at the end of Covenant, where the Covenant was going. You know they're going to LV-426. You know this is what's going to happen. Uh, so th that makes sense. Like, they were tying it in to, to kind of show what happened uh, before, you know, Ripley got there and everything else. Um, but uh, he wanted to kind of, yeah, he wanted to bridge the gap between uh, the alien, the original alien and the crew of the Nostromo discovering the derelict ship uh, in the aftermath. So I'm pretty sure that what would happen is like both David and Catherine Watterson's character from alien covenant probably would battle to the death with, with them killing each other and kind of killing everybody else. And this to just the end, the, the, the experiments that David is doing with the engineers technology. And of course, leading, uh, you know, them having a space jockey ship there or whatever the hell it would have been, who knows how they would have tied it in, but that's probably what would have happened. And then as a result of that, it just, it would have tied into the original film. And honestly, I'm, I'm okay if it never happens. Now, Scott did previously say to uh, to Entertainment Weekly that we are going to make another one. Uh, I think what we have to do is gradually drift away from the alien stuff. People say you need more alien. You need more face pulling. You need more chest bursting. So I put a lot of that in Covenant and it fitted nicely. But I think if you go again, you need to start finding another solution that's more interesting. I think AI is becoming much more dangerous and therefore more interesting, which is the entire point behind David, which we get which we totally, totally understand that uh, David is is the AI. David is the problem. David is is Ridley Scott's kind of commentary on on what he sees as a big problem with where we are in, 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 in technology and artificial intelligence in current day. I get that. I understand that wholeheartedly. <clears throat> but it was it was handled in a very bad way. It really was. It wasn't handled in the best way that it could. Uh, and it was kind of a boring movie. Because the plot really wasn't there. Yeah, there was violence. There was a, a sex scene that went horribly wrong. You know, people got killed in pretty gruesome ways, which, which was actually a lot of fun. But it just, it, it was missing a decent story. And again, that was the biggest problem with Prometheus too. It had an awesome setting. And then the story just fell flat. Right. And so that's what we're learning on. What we're learning here is that the story is not very good. So what he would need to do is get a writer who actually could craft a, a, a solid narrative bridge between Awakening and the original Alien. And I think it could be done. It would have to be a lot of fan service, though, I think. Right. There'd have to be a fair amount of fan service, I think, for it to work in a way that people like. Because here's here's what it breaks down to. Right. And this is where I think Ridley Scott's coming from is what people want is more aliens. They don't want they don't want Alien they want aliens, right? That's why they were excited for Alien 5, was that it was a continuation of aliens, not Alien 3 or Alien Resurrection. Those would not exist. That's why people liked it. 
it, they wanted more of the James Cameron kind of space marine versus monster pulpy sci-fi action stuff. That's what they wanted. Ridley Scott was all like, no, I want to tell these types of stories. But then people were like, well, you still need to add this stuff in. This is what fans expect. And Ridley Scott just doesn't look at it from that perspective. It would be like, like James Cameron trying to direct Gladiator, right? Like the subtlety and the nuance of what Ridley Scott could tell with that story would be something that Cameron couldn't touch upon. But what he could do is do Gladiator 2 and take it to whole new freaking levels that would make everyone freak out and probably kind of forget that Gladiator 1 exists in some respects. But but I want to take a look here real quick at the numbers, right? Now, the numbers, just to give you an idea for whether or not we're actually going to see this, because this isn't if one is happening or if it's not happening. The domestic box office uh, or the worldwide box office take home for Alien Covenant was $238 million, while the estimated home video sales was $21 million. So you put those together and you're looking at around, you know, close to like close to $260 million worldwide take home for the movie, for theaters and for home video. The budget of Alien uh, Covenant was uh, around $97 million, not including print and advertising. So was the movie profitable for Fox? Hard to say. They haven't come out and said that it's profitable. Nobody came out and defended it as being profitable. So if they were going to do it, this would have to come under, you know, Disney uh, and Fox now would have to kind of gauge it a bit more. They'd have to gauge how they want to handle it. And it's entirely possible that Ridley Scott, who's had a good deal with Fox for a while, maybe won't actually be working with them for much longer because they're going to put the kibosh down. They're going to they're going to run 20th Century Fox like a corporation. We've seen what it's done to Lucasfilm. Uh, I talked about that on the main channel yesterday uh, where you had, you know, the glass door uh, comments about Lucasfilm over the years and how it's gotten progressively worse under Disney. That's what's going to happen to Fox. So something like Alien Covenant probably won't see a sequel uh, unless it's something that is going to be wholly different and probably not directed by Ridley Scott. I would say at this point, the likelihood of him actually going back into the franchise is probably pretty, pretty low.